to the integrated door handles here. The coefficient of drag in this vehicle is actually 0.27, so absolutely amazing aerodynamics, as well as creating extra downforce. You're going to notice a lot of um, Skyline inspired features. So if you are familiar with the Skyline, you know this is kind of that signature back end with the round LED taillights, the quad tip dual exhaust, and the rear spoiler. We've given you 20 inch super lightweight forged aluminum alloy wheels with the cross jolt floating rotors and the Brembo brakes. And if you know anything about brakes, Brembo's are some of the best in the business. We give you six piston caliper in the front, four in the back to give you extra braking power. And we also gave you those nitrogen filled potentials as well. So lots of great um, sporty features about this vehicle. Now you're going to notice the air vents in the hood here. These are just little twin turbos. Under our hood is our VR Series 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine pumping out 480 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 6 to be clocked at 3.5 seconds with a quarter mile right around 11.7 seconds and top speeds over 190 miles per hour. Now that's just what we rated it at. We've heard that Edmonds and Road Track and some of these others have tested it. We've heard anywhere from 3.3 at the 0 to 60 to 11.5 on the quarter mile. So I guess you guys have to get out there and test drive and see what you can do. Now we paired up that engine with our six-speed dual-clutch transmission. Now basically, guys, that is Formula One technology. You have a dual-clutch located in the back. You have your odd gears on one side, your evens are on the other. You shift it with the paddle shifters on your steering wheel. When you have it in our mode, you can actually shift in less than 0.2 seconds between shifts. So it's actually amazing technology. Very fast, very precise. Now we do also have an automatic mode. The reason we did this, this car was really designed to be driven by anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's also all-wheel drive, and it's the first car of its kind to have an independent rear mount to transact, but with that all-wheel drive system. So again, some of the best technology in the business. You're also going to get a lot of increased luxury technology on the inside. They've really given you tons of things that are all driver configurable. First of all, starting with the way you get in your car, you're going to notice a lot here at Nissan. We have the little buttons on the door handle. It's part of our intelligent key system. As long as you have your key fob in your pocket, your purse, your backpack, all you have to do when you walk up to the car is press that button to unlock your door. Then once you get inside, it's actually just a push button ignition. So you can literally get up to your car, you never have to drop and dig for your keys. Also, once you get inside, you'll notice the leather seats here with the Alcantara inserts and the extra bolstering. That's to hold your body in the place, keep you from sliding around. It's kind of a sports car inspired seating feature. We have heated seats available as well as the Bose audio system. Now, that Bose system has 11 speakers. If you look through the front window, you're going to see there's two subwoofers mounted in the back seat. So it's premium audio quality. Not to mention, we also give you a 9.3 gigabyte hard drive music box system. So instead of bringing all your CDs and stuff with you on the road all the time, you can actually just download all your music right into your car. So it stores about 2,900 songs right there at your fingertips. And it's all touch screen and voice activated. Now that center screen you'll notice as it comes around, it actually has multiple functions. We call it the human interface system. So not only does your music come up there, but it's also your navigation system again, which is all touch screen and voice activated. And then you have about 11 different screens with graphic readouts on all your driving and performance data. So if you want to clock your own 0 to 60, you can pull up the stop clock and there's a little button on your steering wheel. You can clock your own 0 to 60 or your own quarter mile. If you want to check your boost or your g-force, you can do that as well. Four of the screens are driver configurable, so you can pick and choose which things you want to monitor. There's also three different modes for your transmission, your suspension, and your vehicle dynamic control. So depending on the day and the driving conditions, you can adjust those to fit your preferences. So it's absolutely amazing. Bluetooth as well, so you can talk on your phone hands-free. It is a two plus two seating configuration, so you do a back seat in this car. Plus there's room in the trunk for about two sets of golf clubs, so it's a really big trunk for a sports car. Most of all though, you're getting all this stylish, you know, all this styling and performance, all the technology, everything in one package here at the GTR, and this is truly our supercar. The legend is finally real. It's coming to the United States this summer, so June of 2008. As a 2009 model, pricing is going to start right around $69,850 with a premium package at 71.9, And basically what's included is a premium package are the heated seats, the side impact airbags, and the Bose audio system. So a lot is coming standard on this vehicle. If you'd like any information, we can um, definitely get that to you. There's some full line brochures at the desk you can take home with you today. Also jump on our website once you get home, NissanUSA.com. Click on future vehicles and then you can pull up the GTR. It's absolutely amazing information. Thanks so much for stopping by. We hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night here at the New York International Auto Show. Thank <laughs> you.